Good morning, YouTube. I'm here to talk a little bit with you guys. You know, thank God for another one. Thank all of for another one. Just waking up about 30, 45 minutes ago. Uh, sipping my green tea, y'all know. I know a lot of time people say, Daddy, niggas, they talk about a lot of Chicago shit, man. I ain't gonna lie, Chicago popping right now. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on there, a lot of shit going on in my city. You know what I'm saying? You know? Like, uh, maybe like four or five guys got shot the other night down here in 305, Miami. You know what I'm saying? One died. All I say is bad in every city. Every city got pressure, man. Every city got gangsters. Every city got killers. Every city got this. Every city got that. But, I'm here to talk a little bit about the boy Mubu Crunk, man, from uh, Chicago, man. Mubu Crunk, you know what I'm saying? I don't know him personally or nothing like that, but just a couple of days that. It's a coincidence that I got on Mubu Crunk like a day or two after he had uh, passed away, man. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And when I'm looking at the nigga lives, I'm thinking the nigga on lives. All the while they like, oh, he just got killed the 25th, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I seen him like a day, got on book buddy, like two, maybe a day or two after he got killed, or maybe a day or two before he got killed. I don't know. But the man moving crunk, crunk was very talented with the music, bro. You know, I might get a couple of shy rag gremlins, don't like what I'm saying, but I'm talking about far as music wise, bro. Brother talented, man. He had kids, he had a family. I wish he would have slowed down the way he was talking, being so aggressive. I know niggas like that, you know what I'm saying? I know a nigga like that. From my city, who, who pretty much died like that too. He was very, you know, uh, aggressive with his enemies. You know what I'm saying? We say enemies and shit like that, but you know, Shatan say ops. You know, he would, you know, turn his ops, ops too, shit like that. But Mumu Cross seemed like he was pretty cool though. All your side gonna hold y'all too long. You know, I listened to the nigga music just now, man. You know, music pretty decent, man. He was on his way, but he was on his way. He had a little talk game, but. What I want to say about Mubu Krug is he, he exposed a lot of real, he exposed a lot of niggas with money, like Jeezy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of rappers with money, even though Lil Dirt and them, you know, all types of different shit, dog. And I went and did some research. He was saying that, you know what I'm saying? Mubu Krug, man, was really on that, though, even though, you know, all them niggas ain't too much about the fight shit, but they'll fight, but. They say move or fight, though, you know what I'm saying? He been doing his thing, trials and tribulations we all go through. But they say he a banger, banger nigga, he a fight, whatever, whatever. But, you know, he put a lot of niggas out there that had a little more money than him. I truly believe that. And uh, they didn't let him get in that industry. They didn't let him get out because they know that he knew a lot of shit about people, man. And people ain't going to let you get in there, man, and expose them and take them down. That ain't, you know what I'm saying? So a nigga rather put that rack on your head, that cash on your head, man, to get you out of that ASAP, bro. You see what I'm saying? But it's a coincidence that him and Zach died the same week, bro. Zach TV, Mubu Crump. It's just crazy. No, I R.I.P. to both of them boys, you know what I'm saying? But I was on Zach since the Canadian case, you know what I'm saying? He's a cool guy. You know what I'm saying? Doing his thing, man. Putting a lot of rappers on for Chicago. I respected that, you know what I'm saying? But it was also a dangerous game, too, you know what I'm saying, that he was in, you know. And he even said it. I was watching a couple of videos, man, and not a story word from Mubu Crump, but Zach was saying that a lot of, the, you know what I'm saying, on the interviews that, you know, he was spooked, you know what I'm saying, a lot of times he felt that he had to bring his hand, his, 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 you know what I'm saying, his, you know, we call it that, that the torch, he had to bring that torch with him, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, whatever, not. Because he said he never know who was going to hate or who was going to try him. So he felt a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? But I don't really think a nigga, you know what I'm saying, that one. I don't think it was just like a random. It was a hit, man, for somebody big and upper, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. Boo Boo Crump was a hit too, man, somebody upper, man. That's what I believe, you know what I'm saying? I'm not from Chicago. But I truly believe them were two hits, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can't let the distraction distract you, man. That's all I can say. You got to put two and two together, man. But, Mubu Crump, R.I.P. R.I.P. Zach TV, you know what I'm saying? But definitely, man, them were hits from big boys, man. 
niggas with cash, people with cash, shit like that, bro. They, you know what I'm saying? They want them boys head, man. That's all that was, dog. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to them brothers, man. They made a way, man. You know, definitely Zach TV made that way, man. You know, Mumble Crumb was, you know, him himself. You know what I'm saying? He was just a nigga that, you know, ton of his op, ton of the, the dead. That was crazy. That's something I would never do. A lot of things he did I would never do, but that was him. That's what he was. That's what he was about. That was his style. That was his craft. You understand what I'm saying? And I think somebody forgot to do I think his cousin or somebody just put like a memory video up or and he was a pretty cool guy, man. Sometimes when he ain't on that camel, he was on the camel or just away with family. He, he was a totally different person, bro. I just seen that. He was, Mubu was a totally different person when he was around his family, man. And that's crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just got the feds not too long ago, man. I mean, it's crazy. Oh, I tell people, man. Get out, man. Try to get make a man and find another route, man. No game been went out of business, man. You know, so there's a lot of different games out here now that we trying to accomplish, man, and just trying to make it and trying to live, man. But I ain't gonna hold y'all alone about to clear it out of here on this one. But Boo Boo Crump was a cool dude to me, man. Me personally, I ain't know him. But what I just read up on him, I mean, seen up on him on the video of how he was carrying himself a little bit wild on the video. You funny, though, man. You real funny, though. I looked at him as an uh, entertainer, period. I mean, actually, I looked at him as an entertainer. You know what I'm saying? He was on his way. I'm going to put it like that. But he was on his way, dog. He had talent. And his music is not bad. I heard a lot of niggas hating to my boy, your music garbage. Nah, the nigga music was okay. It was okay. And it only could get better if he kept it up. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, shout out to Mubu. I mean, R.I.P. to Mubu Crump, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't from Chirac, but I just, you know, it just, he was just cool, man. Cool kid to me. Cool guy, man. You know, a lot might get a lot of hate. But, hey, man, he was all right to me. Never did nothing to me, man. I don't wish no death on nobody. Even on my worst enemy, I ain't wishing death on no nigga. That ain't me. I might wish your ass got beat. I might wish your ass get kicked to sleep. But not dead sleep. You know, but I done changed, man. I'm on, you know what I'm saying? I'm on something totally different, bro. But dude was cool, man. Both of them boys was straight, man. It's just crazy, boy, how that shit went down. You know, I ain't in Chicago. I don't stay there. I don't know what's going on, but there were two young black brothers we lost, man. On the same week. Coincident, though. That's all I can say. Um, keep your head up, man. Subscribe to the kid, man. 305 MIA, yo. Be your boy, that boy. 305, man. Holler at me, man. Subscribe me, man. Comments. Whatever, whatever, man. Get at the kid, man. That way, the money way. Elevation way, y'all know, gang.